Contact tracing involves the identification of the index case and backtracking on all the people who have come in close contact with them. So close contacts may be advised to isolate, quarantine, or undergo tests as necessary. Okay, And this is similar to active case finding in tuberculosis clinics where close contacts are advised to seek TB testing services. Okay, Close, con close contacts are, are usually advised no, to, ice, to quarantine themselves even if they have not manifested signs and symptoms of disease yet because we need to monitor them closely okay, for development of any um, symptoms referable to the illness. And this is an, an intervention that will prevent others from getting the disease. You're actually preventing the spread of the disease by quarantining the close contacts before they get sick, okay? And it prevents widespread spread of the disease and therefore mitigating closure of the school and other businesses or organizations within the vicinity. Contact tracing will help us to properly identify persons who are at risk, okay? So our administrators would need not send out blanket orders for all people to, to quarantine themselves since it is a form of targeted, no? a targeted intervention wherein only the close contacts identified would need to go into quarantine. Into quarantine. What is the difference between isolation and quarantine? Isolation separates infected people or, or people who are already sick or those who have signs and symptoms of disease from those who are without signs and symptoms, from those who are not sick or ill. It basically restricts the movement of people who are sick in order to prevent further spread of infection. It means keeping people out of the public, okay, confining them at home, until the risk of transmission to others becomes low. The duration of isolation depends on the period of infectiousness or infectivity of a particular disease. Quarantine, on the other hand, is the restriction of movement of close contacts or people who have been exposed. And the purpose of quarantine is to monitor them for the development of symptoms referable to the disease. The restriction of movement of close contacts is to prevent further spread. Therefore, the rationale for quarantine should be communicated with clear guidelines. And the duration of quarantine will depend on the incubation period of the disease or how long from the time of exposure to the time of manifestation of illness. That is the incubation period. So how do we manage close contacts and how do we manage people with the disease? For the management of infectious diseases, treatment should always be led by a physician and treatment is dependent on the infectious agent involved. For bacterial infections, we usually use antibiotics, but for viral infection, this may be supportive and may include or may not include the use of antivirals. For both contacts and cases, it involves preventive education, okay? So hand washing, hygiene, and in cases where infection would coexist with other infection, management, active management of the comorbidities or the other diseases must also be conducted in order to prevent progression into severe disease, okay? Symptomatic treatment, like for example, the intake of paracetamol for fever, mucolytics or anti tussive to manage cough, the use of nasal decongestants for the presence of stuffy nose or nasal congestion may also be done in order to make the patient more comfortable and to alleviate um, these symptoms. Okay, another intervention to prevent the spread of diseases and to prevent school outbreaks is immunization. Immunization is important because immunization reduces risk of death and disease and it reduces the severity of the disease. 
it also reduces loss of funds due to sickness since if we are able to maintain our health and wellness we are able to to um, mitigate our losses and we will not um, there will be no productivity loss there will be less absenteeism for both the child and, and the parent or the caregiver as well it will also reduce the spread of disease in in the family or in the household and in the school and the communities and as i mentioned it prevents loss of time from school and work there are quite a number of childhood um, vaccines that are being recommended by the pediatric the philippine pediatric society and the pediatric infectious disease society of the philippines or pidsp and uh, you can refer to this um, immunization schedule this is the updated one for 2021 okay for adults immunization are also being recommended so immunization hindi lamang para sa mga bata kundi pwede din po siya sa teaching staff and also the admin staff of the school we recommend for example the giving of influenza vaccines annually pneumonia vaccines every five years tetanus vaccine every 10 years hepatitis b boosters and now covid19 so to end this session our key takeaways are as follows surveillance as an intimate relationship with other efforts in controlling diseases and epidemics and it includes contact tracing isolation treatment and management and vaccination all initiatives like this are interconnected in helping us achieve better health as a society thank you for your kind attention